Good evening. This is Pastor Lisa, and um, welcome to our Campfire Vespers tonight. Tonight we're going to share some more words from the Bible. And please, I still invite you to send me in your words that you have, and I'll find them in the Bible and share with them. But the words that I received for tonight are, make a joyful noise. So for our icebreaker, I'd like you to share a musical experience that was important in your life. And Rich is going to share his. It was senior high pioneer camp, um, probably 1969 or 70. And the routine in that camp was every night at 7 o'clock we would meet at the pavilion and then we would go to where we were going to have Vespers that night. It was Tuesday night, I remember that. And we got to the pavilion and they said, tonight for Vespers, we're going to do something different. Instead of going somewhere, we're going to sit here in the pavilion and we're going to listen to a religious service on a record. It's called the Folk Mass. Now, most of us, when we heard the word Mass, thought it was going to be some high church thing and there was a lot of moaning and groaning. And they put the record on and here it was a church service. It was with music that we could relate to. It was music from our generation. And that hour service seemed like it lasted five minutes. It was just really different because all of us before thought you had to have a big organ and a fancy choir to have a worship service. And suddenly we realized that you could just pick up an instrument make music, and worship God. For a brief part of the early 70s, it was very popular to have folk masses. And I would read in the paper, in the religious section, where there was going to be a folk mass. And I would sometimes take two or three buses to get to a church just to enjoy a worship service that I can really relate to. Thank you, Rich. So the words make a joyful noise actually show up six times in the Bible. And I'm sure you can guess where those six places are. They're all in the Psalms. And so I'm going to read those to you. The first one is Psalm 66, 1. Make a joyful noise to God, all the earth. So this verse is telling all of creation to make a joyful noise. I mean, how have you experienced creation making a joyful noise? I think about, you know, an exciting, excited dog that's just barking and it sounds you know, like a joyful noise or the birds that are singing um, or chirping, the leaves rustling as you're walking through the woods or um, especially this time of the year um, and throughout the summer, the crickets. Um, chirping at night just sound like they're praising God um, when you're at the ocean or you know the just the waves lapping in just a soft sound praising God um, they're all making all of creation has its own way of making joyful noises to praise God even a silent rainbow the sunrise or sunset seems like their beauty is making a joyful noise um, to God. The next is Psalm 95, um, verse 1. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. When we sing, we make a joyful noise. Although I've heard so many say, oh, I can't really sing. You don't want me to sing because I'm not very good or I, nothing good, can, the good sound doesn't come out of my voice. But yet, um, I don't think that singing, um, if our voices aren't good, is, is not praising God. I think no matter when we sing or how we sing, whether our voices are good or, or maybe a little croaky or a little rough, we're still praising God when we're singing and we're all making a joyful sound. Psalm 95, 2. Let us come into God's presence with thanksgiving. 
let us make a joyful noise to God with songs of praise. So we can and should make a joyful song sound to God no matter where we are or what we're doing. But there is a power when we can come together in the sanctuary and just sing God's praise, sing together. I think during COVID, that's what a lot of people missed from church, um, is actually being in the same place, singing together with other people and just the, the spirit that they felt within that. Um, and so we sing it, we sing by ourselves and we praise God and that's great. But there are times when coming together, singing, um, brings a different spiritual element sometimes to us. Then there is Psalm 98, 4. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. Break forth into joyous song. I think of times in my life where, you know, like I experience something good and we often talk about, well, I um, break out into my happy dance. Um, maybe we break forth into singing our praises to God. You know, um, when good things happen, we sometimes say, oh, praise Jesus or, or thank you, Jesus, or praise the Lord. We break forth into making a joyful noise of praise to God. Then there's Psalm 98, 6. With trumpets and sound of the horn, make a joyful noise before the King, the Lord. Um, singing a cappella is really beautiful, um, especially when... People have really nice voices and there's a blend of voices. But sometimes, you know, it's nice to hear instruments. And I know there have been a lot of arguments in churches over this instrument belongs in church or this instrument doesn't or whatever. But I know um, at our church, when our whole band plays together, their joyful noise just fills the sanctuary. Then um, our last psalm, Psalm 100. Verse 1, make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. So the Steelers lose a game. We complain. The cashier at the grocery store is very slow, and we complain. The gas prices are too high, and we complain. People get on our nerves, and yes, we complain. Things don't go the way we think they should, and yes, we complain. The words in the Bible tell us, to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. And I know there are times when we complain and we probably need to, but at the end, let us always remember to make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth. So the song I'm going to sing is Make a Joyful Noise Unto the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Make a loud noise and rejoice in singing. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Let us pray. God, we thank you for your words to make a joyful noise because so often throughout the day, we hear noises that are anything but joyful. We do hear the complaints and we hear the arguments. We hear people's pain and we're filled with empathy and sympathy. We see the violence on TV, the gunshots, the people who are yelling at each other with hatred. We hear the division and the divisiveness. We hear the problems of the world. And sometimes we're not sure how to react. We feel sadness and we feel angry and anxious and so many other feelings, even depressed. And sometimes we just need to be silent. And in that silence, begin to sing and to make a joyful noise and let your spirit come upon us and bring us a calmness and a peace. So we pray for that calmness and peace to come upon each one this night. We lift up those who are sick and in need. We pray for the leaders of our country and world. 
We pray for those that we know who need special prayers and for each one that is listening. We lift up the prayers on their hearts and the needs that they have and place each one, God, in your hands. So throughout this week, when things become stressful, when things become difficult, let us take time and make a joyful noise. God, as we make a joyful noise, we know your spirit will come upon us. Thank you, God, for all of your blessings, for the joys of life and the happiness that we experience. We do make a joyful noise to you, God, in saying thank you. Amen. Thanks. Have a good night.